Welcome to Scanny TV or YouTube once again. Yes, so today, exactly 4 p.m. at Kumasi Barbara Sports Stadium here, is going to be Ghana Black Stars versus the Palancas Negras of Angola. This is AFCON 2025 qualifiers, match day one for Ghana. Yesterday, Sudan, they defeated Niger by a goal to now. So, Coach Kwesiapia, he's ready and right now he's leading the table already. Well, we will talk about the game. Not only Ghana Black Stars, we also have Ghana Black Princesses. They are also out for their second game in the FIFA Under 20 World Cup, which is going on in Colombia today. And we will speak a little bit about it. And some few other trending stuff that we need to know. I'm here to actually bring it to you. I will talk a little bit about that in this update. Then we'll top it up with the best starting 11 or the most likely starting 11 after watching the um, training sessions and after also listening to Coach Otuado yesterday. We will talk a little bit about it. And um, I'll also try and give some few shout outs in this update because since I came to Kumase, I've not been giving shout outs. So I'll try and add some few ones. So if you have joined me, don't forget to like the video for me. After that, if you are new, subscribe to this channel, put out some post notifications so that I'll drop a latest update. You'll be the first person to get and also enjoy leave a and comment in the comment box and after watching the video share the link for this so, so come here and enjoy the latest on this channel so no time to waste you know how we do it let's quickly begin from the ghana black princesses quick ones then we come to the black stars ghana black princesses today they are going to play a game against japan national team under 20 side the first game ghana black princesses we lost by two goals to one we thought that game was a must win for us but it didn't actually happen but we go again and check out if today we can actually Actually get the win against Japan. So today is going to be Japan versus Ghana, and already in a group, Ghana we don't have any points after uh, we lost our first game. So this time around, coach, you see Bazigi and the girls. I believe this time around they should go there and get something better for Ghana in this game. So it's going to happen exactly 10 p.m. 10 p.m. today. Local time in Colombia is going to be 5 p.m. But Ghana here is going to be 10 p.m. So right after watching Ghana versus Angola at 4 p.m., then we have to wait for the highlights. I'll bring it to you on this channel and everything. Then 10 p.m., we will also check out Ghana under 20 girls versus Japan national team. So we wish them all the best. And we hope that this time around, the likes of Helena Lominu, the likes of um, Stella Nyameche, the likes of Mefi Nyame, um, you know, Afia Meniku, all the girls, they should go there and make Ghana proud. So we still follow them and bring you guys more updates on this channel. Now, a little bit on Sudan national team yesterday, as I said, coach Kwesi Apia, he led the Sudanese side at home to defeat Niger by a goal to nil. So as I said, right now, they are leading the table with three points. So Ghana, we have to win today and we have to win by probably more than one goal so that Ghana we can also bypass them so yesterday Sudan they got one no win which was also a great one for coach Kwesiapia's side so far for the last five matches for coach Kwesiapia he has not tasted any defeat he's unbeaten so it tells you that coach Kwesiapia is really doing well at the Sudan national team side and that is it also for them now before I come to the Black Stars game let me take these ones quickly Sad news yesterday that um, I received. Yes, Kamal Din Suleimana, we all brought you an update that he was moving to join Ayas, Ayas Football Club in Netherlands. But unfortunately, the deal did not go through because FIFA, they have actually, um, you know, or I would say UEFA, they did not accept this particular move due to lateness of the uh, document being submitted. And uh, we understand that the document was submitted about 16 minutes after the deadline time so um, yes UEFA says they will not agree according to Mike Verich he has actually um, reported that I asked they are not going to get Kamal Din Suleimana because um, you know the documents were late about 16 minutes of the deadline time so it is really sad Kamal Din Suleimana I thought he was moving from Southampton to join Ayas but unfortunately he needs to stay there maybe at least until January before he can actually move but I just hope and wish that Roussel Martin the head coach for Southampton will play him fast to see if maybe the player can actually do well but that is also a sad news we received yesterday about the player and I have to also update you also Salis Abdul Samet he has been on Veiled as a new player for Southampton, and uh, you see the JC really looks beautiful for him. And we wish him all the best because at the moment, Southampton is doing well in the English Championship. And we wish him going, uh, you know, all the best joining them on a season long loan in the English Championship side. Now, a little bit, just go video. He spoke about Mohamed Kudus about two days ago in a podcast. He was asked about which attacker that he faced last season. He think it was the toughest for him in the EPL. According to Josco Vadio, Manchester City defender, a top defender by, by all standards, he said that it was Mohamed Kudus. He said how Kudus actually dazzled against him when they played the first game against West Ham United. Kudus came on to do about 15 minutes. But Kudus, what he did against him, especially showed that Kudus has a class. And he also said that the second leg, last season, the last game of the season in the EPL, where we had Manchester City winning against West Ham by three goals to one. 
He said what Kudus did against them, he can never forget it. And he, Kudus also scored an overhead kick. So according to him, yes, Mohamed Kudus is one of the best attackers and one of the most underrated players. And he wished and prayed that Kudus, this season, he's also going to show a lot of class for his side, West Ham United and some few other ones. Now, let me move away from that and talk a little bit about Ghana's game today. Yes, as I said, it's going to happen here at Kumasi Barara Sports Stadium. Exactly 4 p.m. Ghana Black Stars versus the Palancas Negras of Angola. And if you want to come and watch, Poplar Stand is 20 Ghana cities, Center Line 50 Ghana cities, VIP Ring 70 Ghana cities, VIP, um, you know, itself is 100 Ghana cities. So if you want to come here, make sure you come and also enjoy the game for yourself. Now, talking about the game, yes, this is my possible starting 11. And I'll make one change in this particular starting 11 because I think there, there, will have, there, there has to be a change. Yesterday, according to Coach Otto Ado, he revealed that Jordan Pierre Ayu. Yes, he's a player who didn't join early, as well as Elisha Ousu. But per what he said at the pre-match conference, it indicated that Jordan Ayu might not be starting. Because according to him, when he, I asked him about players who are going to be involved in the game and players who are not going to be involved, because those two players, they didn't join early. He said that for Jordan, he, don't, he doesn't think that he's going to be ready to start. That is what he said, you know. But also said that he believes that Elisha is going to be ready. So I don't know what is actually going on. But yesterday, Jordan trained and I think he did quite good for me personally. But I don't know what Coach Otuado will have to do today. But this is my possible starting level. I'll make one change in it. Yes, I'm goalkeeper. I'll go for Lauren Satisgi to be in post for Ghana because I think the thread that we have, even though on a training ground, I've seen Joseph Lukwalokot as well as Frederick Asari. Koroko goalkeeper and goalkeeper for Corley Town. They are doing so well, but um, Atizgi has been the number one, and I think today he is also going to be given that particular position to keep for the Black Stars team, and that is that. I'm still thinking that Otuado will go with the four back because I saw using Tariq yesterday as a right back, and he used Ali Duseidu as a left back when they were playing um, Team A and Team B at the training ground. So that is what I actually saw. So I think. He is going to go for um, you know, Ali Dusedu to play the left back position and the player Tariq Lamte to play the right back position. That is per my um, you know, um, judgment from what I saw at the training ground. But I also see Ebenezer Anand playing so well in the left wing position. And maybe because of height, he might choose Ebenezer Anand. Because if you play Tariq and you play Ali Dusedu, maybe in terms of aerial duels, it might be a little bit challenging when Ghana consists a corner kick or something. So let's see how things will go. But for me, I think um, Ali Dusedu will start as a left back and Tariq will start as a right back in this game for Ghana. Abdul Mumin, he's shown that yes, he's really strong on the training grounds and I'm really happy with him and I think Abdul Mumin will be up for selection today so I want to see Abdul Mumin as one of the um, right centre back or one of the centre backs in the game together with Mohamed Salisu I, I think he's, he's the key player in terms of the defenders that we have and one of the most experienced in terms of the defenders at the moment because we have him as a centre back Jerome Opoku as a centre back Abdul Mumin and Jonas Ejiajete the new boy who has also joined and I think he will go for Salisu and Abdul Mumin in this particular game now in my midfield, yes, I'll go for Thomas Tepate as well as Elisha Ousu. That is what I give the last time and I think it is still going to be the same. Maybe, maybe a player in the name of Abu Francis might come in to replace Elisha in the starting eleven. That is what I see. But I think Elisha will give you a lot of, um, you know, forward passes a little bit. Not that much, but Pate can only Pate as a, as a DM will not be okay for me because we know African football, they will put pressure on him, they will actually play some kind of football that Partey might not be maybe willing to go in for those circles because we know Partey's injury situation. So he might have to play a player who also um, help Partey in terms of defence. But Majid Ashimeru is also one player that everyone loves. And for me, I would like to see Ashimeru start again. But let's see how things will go in this particular lineup from Coach Otto Ado. But I will predict Thomas Partey and the player Elisha Usu to start in the midfield for Ghana. Um, Fatou Isaku Abdo, I'll place him at the right wing. The last game he started for Ghana, he did so well, giving assists, winning penalty, and I think the boy is just amazing. If you want Fatou Isaku on the training ground, you just see him as a starter in the Black Stars team. And for me, I'll start him as a right winger in the team today. And to Salam Semenyo, on the left wing, I want to still play him there because I think Semenyo does so warm well on the wings. Even though training ground, he's doing some shootings which indicate that maybe today if we do not have Jordan starting as the coach in a way was trying to tell us, Semenyo might start. So let's see how things will go but that is what I will predict in this one. Mohamed Kudus 
as an AM or attacking me further, I think I'm going to use him in that AM role. And Kudus, I think he just needs to start, and that is it also for him. Jordan Pierre Ayu, I would have loved to start him as a striker because of his form for the Blast Stars team for the past two games. He scored four goals for us, but per hot coach Otto was saying yesterday, I don't really see Jordan starting, to be honest with you. And, um, but I was starting. But let's see. Anything could happen. As the coach said yesterday, he would not like to reveal what he's actually coming up with. But he will actually like to surprise us with a good lineup. And we will see how things will go. So for me, I was stuck with Jordan. But in the absence of Jordan, let's all watch out for the player in the name of Brandon Thomas Asante. Brandon Thomas Asante. He might also get a start. Or his first start for the Black Stars team. What he is doing at training grounds, guys, is amazing. The last time I brought you some few videos of him. And Thomas Asante is that good. So for me, I also like to see him replace Jordan in this possible starting 11. Maybe if Jordan is not going to be around. So that is it also for you. What are your thoughts? And um, after this video, I'm going to allow you to enjoy the feeling around the stadium. I took some few shots. So you just enjoy how everything is going on in Barbara Sports Stadium here today. So, as you enjoy it on your screen, let me give some few shout-outs, yes. Then I'll leave the rest for you to also see how things will go. So, yeah, shout-out going out to Jokos1384. Yes, I've seen you commented under the last video. I appreciate you. Bangalore City is also on this channel. Thank you. Then I have Prof. Um, Ancona Rebel. Thank you, Prof. I've seen you. You're also doing well on this channel. Benjamin Kofi, you are also here. I appreciate you. Um, then I have Jonah Alonu. Thank you. Dachin Hine is also on this channel. Betty Johnson, I've seen you. Stefan DK, thank you for being here. Ernest Ametefe is here. Ahmed Tijani is also here. Joki Jackie, I've seen you. Um, Sam Mante, Rebo, thank you. Felix Infojo is also here. Bashiri, you're also here. Gentle Vibes is here. Clifford, I appreciate you. Emmanuel Amane. Um, then I have Paul. Pamo, thank you for being here at the Power 1212. You're also here. Ofori Bruce, thank you. Ezekiel Dochedo, you're also here. Gideon Akagbo is also here. Then um, Nana Michael, you're also on this channel. Peku Abednego is here. Amanu Ahankra, you're also on this channel. And all the other fantastic guys who are here enjoying the video on this channel. So I'll bring you more shout outs and more videos, highlights, and everything you need to know from Kumasi Barra Sports Stadium. The match between Ghana Black Stars and and Golem Palancas Negras. Don't forget to like the video for me. Subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This was Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.